Jason was a practical man who valued facts and logic over emotions and fantasies. He never understood the appeal of love at first sight or any other kind of love. That was until he met Emily. Their paths crossed on a chilly autumn morning at the farmer's market. Jason was there to buy some fresh vegetables, and Emily was there to get some flowers for her sick grandmother. As he reached for a bunch of carrots, he saw her, and time seemed to stop. Emily was a vision of beauty and warmth. Her smile was kind, and her laugh was like music to his ears. Her hazel eyes shone with a light that captivated him. Jason's rational mind was confused. He had never felt such a strong, attraction to anyone. His heart raced, and his hands sweated. He couldn't believe that a random meeting at the farmer's market could spark such a deep connection. He couldn't resist the urge to talk to Emily. He started a conversation about carrot recipes, something he had never cared about before. To his surprise, she was a passionate cook, and they shared their love for food. They talked for a few minutes, enjoying the smell of fresh produce and the sight of colorful flowers. But Emily had to leave soon, as she had promised to visit her grandmother who was ill. Jason wanted to ask her for coffee, but he hesitated, unsure of how she would react. He let her go, hoping that fate would bring them together again. As luck would have it, they bumped into each other again at a coffee shop the next day. They recognized each other instantly and smiled. They decided to sit together and continue their conversation. They ordered coffee and talked for hours, discovering more things in common. They both liked nature and the stars. They felt a connection, fueled by their stories, their laughter, and their views on life. Jason learned about Emily's devotion to her family, especially her grandmother who was ill, and her care for plants. He admired her strength and courage. Jason gathered his courage and asked Emily for her phone number. She gladly gave it to him and said she would love to hear from him again. They exchanged numbers and parted ways, feeling happy and hopeful. They started talking almost every day, texting and calling each other whenever they could. They also met frequently going for walks in the parks or watching the stars at night. They fell in love gradually, deepening their bond with every moment and every whisper. 